little breakdown of what this is. So the name of this whole little social experiment slash game is three for three. Mm-hmm. I'm basically going to ask you three questions. It's going to be the same questions every time. I'm asking Bad. you the three questions, what I just asked uh, her. Mm-hmm. And you answer them to the best of your ability, get some details, support your answer. Uh, it ain't no wrong way. You know, anything that you feel, you feel me, should give enlightenment to your point of view with these questions. Feel me? Bad. Okay. So, boom, let's go ahead and jump into the first question. The uh-huh. first question is, how do you feel about the dating world currently and the dynamics of relationships in 2024? Um, I mean, I, obviously, I don't date. I'm married. So, um, mm, them, them, days is, them days is done for me. Um, but I think... Um, go off of from what you see. And from what you see <clears throat> and compared to what it was when you wasn't married. When you wasn't I, I compared to right that, now. I think that there just needs to be more intentions on like what you want instead of just like beating around the bush. Like if if you just want one thing, like if you just want sex, like lead with that, right? Mm. Like don't 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 try to finesse a female and do all this extra when you really just want that, That's right? Like you'll get you'll get more out of just being upfront and honest than you will trying to do all the finessing and extra because she might have just wanted that too. And now you just saved her that you saved her the extra, you know what I'm saying, going through all of the extra. Um also, like I think it has to be a mutual respect for both parties. Mm. I feel like both parties disrespect each other. So like nobody could take anybody serious because it's like it's it's just a high level of disrespect on both mm. parts. Okay, wait, hang on, let me piggyback off that first part mm. too. Do you mm. feel like um both sides is trying to finesse, or is it just more niggas trying to finesse? It's both because, sides because you okay. got females who trying to who trying to milk milk dudes, and they trying to come up on the best you know the best opportunity or situation for themselves. And oh, do he got money? What what do he offer me? Instead of understanding, like it's a collaborative effort. It's a it's a it take two. It's a team. It take you feel me? Yeah, that's um, real. And like I think. If people just under really understand what a relationship is, like you can't have a relationship with yourself, mm. right? Mm. It takes two, no matter what. A relationship is 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 singular. You know what That's I'm saying? True. So it's like when people understand that, then I think it'll be a lot better. Mm. Okay, okay. You what you um uh, brought up bring me into my next question mm-hmm. uh, because you were talking about the respect thing. You feel me in both ways. And I see that a lot out of here, you feel me? Like, it's a big division between the genders, especially amongst our people. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering, okay, what can we do on both sides to dissolve the animosity between both genders? Um, I think it started with the men first. Like, Mm. I just came up and and, and was raised a way to, like, I treat women, I, I give women the utmost respect, right? Okay. Like... I've never seen so many dudes bashing women, tearing down women, beating up women, robbing women. It's like women hate. It's it's like, it's like. It's like, what are you, you you pulling a gun on a female? It's like, what are you doing? Like, that's crazy. Or you, you robbing a female, you beating a female. That's crazy to me. Like, like, just leave. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, but. I think that part, it starts with the men, like, because we're supposed to be the leaders. We're supposed to be. You know, we're supposed to take care and provide and do all of that. So when, if if we change how we act towards women in general, I think that women will respect us more. But also, too, it also, like, women got to understand, like, you need a man. Like, you know what I'm saying? All that independent. And I'm not saying, like, it's wrong. I'm not saying you should be an independent woman. But, like, I hear women say, oh, I don't need no man. Yes, you do. You do. You, yeah. You need a man. It was intended for you to have a man. You need a man, right? Like, cause you're trying to do everything by yourself, and like, nah, you you need a man. Especially women that have kids, it's like, nah, you need a man. You like that, that, daddy need to be there. He, he, he it, dads play an important role in 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 the equation. And so incredibly important. I I, I say so two I think, things. Oh, that's my bad. Just so you feel me. Because I don't want to lose the train of thought, but from what you said, the first thing being as far as, like, 
the it starts with the men because I truly feel like the men give the seed and the women are the soil. You feel mm-hmm. me? So it's like whatever you planted in her, you know, she is going to grow that. If you on bullshit and you pour bullshit in her, you feel me? Then y'all gonna get a but, lot of bullshit outcome. But it it goes deeper too though. If you if you look at a lot of like the stuff that's out on TV and social media or whatever, right? It never promotes togetherness or exactly. or or a men and women together. It always that's promotes. That's also part of the dude, you know. Like if if because like you were saying with the children too, you feel me? A lot of men provide the structure. Women not that good when it comes to discipline and structure because it's hard for them to discipline themselves. Yeah. But for men, you gotta be a disciplined man. You have to learn how to do that eventually. It, it is gonna happen to you, you know. Yeah. And from the lessons of you doing that, it end up being passed on to your household and to your children. You feel me? You provide that structure. But, but just a lot little, of ain't got like little discipline. crazy, like little stuff. Like I'll be at the gas station and like I see a female pumping gas. Mm. And it's the dude in the car. Mm. And, like, to me, that's mind-blowing because it's just like, yo, like, I just never, that was never, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just wasn't raised like that. And, like, it's just certain stuff that, like, as a man, yeah, and, and we didn't even have to be, like, in a relationship or involved. Like, if I was out, like, I I, I made sure the women around me was protected. Like, if, yeah. you, if you came out, like, I was going to make sure you got to your car. I was going to make sure you got home. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, it wasn't no... And I didn't have no agenda behind it. It just was like, that's just what we was on. We take care of the women. And I feel like, like we lost that. Now dudes are trying to ride females. And why you think it's like that? And this ain't one of the questions, but why you think why you think you fell off? Like, what, what you think caused that? Uh, it ain't uh, no wrong answers. I'm just curious. You feel me? It... It's just a different generation, bro. It's just a different dynamic. Like, these, like, I don't know. The younger generation is crazy. Like, they don't play outside no more. They're super sensitive. You super can't tell them nothing. <laughs> they take everything as, as personal and not and not looking at it. Like, you know, us, like, we, we listen to the OG. So when the OGs is giving game, we just yeah. like, oh, okay, let me, let me put this in my notebook. Oh, you blessing me with game. Now they take it like, are oh, you hating on me? No, I'm not hating on you. I'm trying to, I'm trying to really they don't know how to take on game. For real, for real. So, I think that's why they take it like, or they look at it like, or they look at it like, man, you ain't done it. You don't know what you're talking about. You, because you got to think, bro, like, you got to think, like, we, I'm, I'm 36, bro, so like, if I'm talking to a 20 year old, 21 year old, bro, he wasn't even born when I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he don't even understand how it was without no cell phone for real. That's real. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I, I just, I just ran into a young, I just ran into this young cat on the bar, right? Mm. And he was like talking about parties and stuff, and I'm just like, yeah, bro, I used to be in that, I used to do all of that. He's like, I never heard of you. And I'm like, bro, yeah, I'm <laughs> like, and I laugh because I'm like, but. You wasn't even born when I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So I wasn't, Man, what? <laughs> you know That's what I'm wild. saying? So I kind of had to laugh about it because I was just like, but yeah, I get it because he was probably two when I, <laughs> you know what I'm that, saying? So, really? it that it's just that space, bro. Like, it just, it's that space, bro. And I don't know how we to get back to it. And, and then I okay. think the other part of it too is like the old Jesus is like either dead or like locked up or like you know what I'm saying. I'm a, a lot of these. A lot of these niggas is, is they cook, but we old, like they, OGs they now, bro. Like back. 36 is an OG now. Like they be like, "What's up, OG?" I'll be like, "Oh, I'm still young, bro." But yeah. no, like I'm an OG but now, bro. Like even it's crazy. most of the people are rank, our age range. I mean, even a lot of a lot of those younger they mind is cooked. I mean, yeah. like, they mind they they cook like yeah. it's, it's zombie mode. Yeah. I mean, like you, you walking around in zombie mode. You feel me? Like seriously, a lot of people going up there. Like they just they there. Which brings me actually to the next question. You feel me? So I was last last final question, and this is a little bit a little bit broader. Uh-huh. You feel me? But it's in the same dynamic. Uh-huh. So what do you think about the shift that's taking place right now, mentally, spiritually, financially, 
What do you notice, you feel me, out here in the environment? And what direction do you see things going? Uh, Based on, like, what you're seeing right now. I, I, I want to be optimistic that it's going to get better. Um, there are glimpses of that there is a possibility of it getting better. Mm. But I think when we make progress, right, like we trend up and then something happens where it just goes back down, yeah. right? Um, but I'm going to still go back to what it says. It starts with the men. And, you know, men probably going to feel like, but well, what about the females? And, and yeah, they no, play a part, but you. at the end of the day, you got to understand our position what we is created and intended to be, right? Yes. We set the precedence in the household. We set the precedence in society. So when we on our when we on our square and doing we're supposed to do everything else gonna naturally fall in place. Yes. And I think I don't care how you, I don't care how you I don't care how you look at it, right? Any real woman, she gonna submit to a real man. And if she don't, then that's just on her, right? And that's a problem that that she got with within herself. But if a man is doing everything he's supposed to do, y'all, y'all woman naturally going to fall in line. That's right. I don't think a lot of niggas be doing what they, I think they be thinking that they doing more than what they actually doing. But, and I know but on the flip side of that, to them, they on the flip side like that. of that, though, to, not to discredit men, like, we not perfect. Right, and so. No, nah, it, it ain't, it's not about discrediting, it's about keeping it real. Like, it's, it be a lot of shit, you feel me? Even like back in the day, like, a lot of stuff, I feel like everybody is who they always been. And a lot of the past has just evolved into something that was out of pocket because it was socially acceptable. It was a lot of shit that where it was like, if you feel me, it was like things that niggas knew better what to do, like a comic example. A lot of day, a lot of things right now, you feel me, a lot of men are may not be happy with their uh, circumstances, you feel me, mm -hmm. or they catch their female, you feel me, fucking with another dude. And they crash out, you know, on, on her and they self. Mm -hmm. And just throw in the towel. Instead of just, you know what? Hey, remove yourself. Replace. It's a big world. You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, they crash out and ready to... But take it. I done heard so many circumstances mm -hmm. of where they crash out. They uh, take they self. But, you feel me? Like the but, female, but the gotta kids. Think, like, you got to think, bro. Like, like, like it's, a, it's a rare generation, right? Like... A lot of these dudes ain't never really been in relationships or had women, right? Or had their fair share of women, mm -hmm. right? And so, like, like I've had I've had people close to me who have been the same way, and, and I'm like, bro, why you just what, what you tripping for? It's but that's the thing. It's, it's still the other mental, options. Right? And they why like, why is it that serious that you gotta that you? It's like you can't move on. You feel me? Why is it why is it that serious that it's like you gotta because you gotta take yourself out and her. Like, why is it a, that serious? I don't know. I think it's a lack of confidence, or I think it's like, like I've never had a problem getting, getting a female right. So it's like for me, my logic was like, ah, you ain't feeling me. That's cool. Respectfully, that's cool. But it's other fish in the sea, yeah. right? But like when some dudes, when they get rejected, 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 yeah. rejected, yeah. rejected, then they get one. It's like, oh, I love her. She don't want. One that didn't reject me. So they put all their eggs in that basket. When that basket tip over, it's over. But it ain't, it, I, you would think that, you feel me, with the rejection, 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 that you would be critiquing yourself on why you getting the rejection from junk. They, they should You get be. what I mean? <laughs> they should be, but they not. They they just taking it like, I, like I got rejected. Because rejection ain't a bad thing. It might just nah. be, it ain't the right time. She... Or it ain't she ain't for you. you. Everybody not for everybody. Yeah, you gotta that, find who for you. And you gotta and you gotta be cool with that. You gotta understand, like, I'm not her type. I may right. think I'm handsome and attractive, but I'm not her type, and that's fine. But dudes get mad and be like, it just is. Yeah, it's weird, bro. Yeah, yeah, it, and it's like that. It's I don't know. It's extremely. I think it's a um. A lot of guys, I, I believe a lot of women too, they both are hyper emotional. But I think the difference is a lot of men are hyper emotional and they don't really acknowledge it or you feel me, they don't know how to deal with it. And a lot of women, they may not realize that they hyper emotional 
You feel yeah. me? Until it's certain circumstances, but it's more of a society norm when it comes to the toxic ways to deal with those emotions. But I will. You get what I mean? Say too, though, women like not and not to discredit men. Like women gotta like, like we're not perfect, right? Like if you got a dude that's trying, and you see potential, and sometimes he may just need a little guidance or encouragement, right? Like, like I don't think females kind of really understand like the power that that holds. Like, like mm, I don't know. I, I, I gotta, I gotta, uh, I don't know. Nah, like, okay, I speak from, I speak from my, 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 my standpoint, right? Like, for me, bro, like, to hear that, like, man, I appreciate everything you're doing. Like, I appreciate, bro, that, that's the battery in my back. That's the, I could go work another 80 hours. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the, because that's what I'm doing it for. So to hear. But that's more, that's more. That's more of an add but on. You would still you be hear, doing it if, if you it hear, wasn't you going ain't on. nothing. You a bum. You lose. No, 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 no. I'm not saying you know, if you hearing if you hearing the the tear down. I'm saying if you was doing your thing and it was nobody there to clap for you, you would still be doing your thing because you have an idea of what you're trying to do. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, but, yeah, so it's an extra sure. credit. It's not. <laughs> you get what I mean? It's yeah, got true, it. That's how it is. True, but. But it's the same. It's the same analogy of like, why do we reward our kids for getting good grades? You're supposed to get good grades. Yeah, I don't know what it's your the, reward thing. I don't know. But it's the extra. <laughs> it's the extra. It's the extra incentive. Like, yeah. yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. But when you just heard my daddy say he gonna give me twenty five dollars or fifty dollars for every A or whatever, that's the extra motivation. So men need that extra little bit of like, hey, I see what you're trying to do. Do your thing, like yeah, like you know what I'm saying. Like I agree, you, you gotta I be just, more. Just you gotta be that. more encouraging and so. I, now I'm not saying support no no loser. If he a flat out loser, yeah, and he don't yeah, want it, it'd be a lot of nothing, it'd be a lot of not. uh, but baby time. You if feel he, me like holding the nigga try, hand. like if if he trying and you see he trying like help, bro. Like put bro on. Like if you got an opportunity to put bro on, help, bro. Put bro on, like. Don't 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 tearing down. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree. You feel me it, with the definitely not the tearing down. Like I don't, I feel like it's hard to put. You know, like you could give a man because even when it comes to men with other men, I feel like a man gotta want to do it himself, or it ain't gonna happen. You feel me? Like a female could try and put a nigga on, hook him up, get him all kind of good positions, get him. You feel me? But. Unless that nigga actually want to do it, it ain't gonna happen. You feel me? It's nah, like yeah, it, 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 it gotta be, it gotta be the one in the man first and foremost. That's why yeah, I said I led with the don't support and stand by no loser, no bum that ain't trying to do nothing. Yeah. But if you got a dude who actually is trying and he just taking a few missteps or he he need a little help, but you see the intent and the intentions is there. Cause sometimes we just need help, bro. That's real. You know what I'm saying? That's real. And, and, and when we get that help, it's like, oh, you really just took me to a whole nother. And women gotta understand. Listen, when you when your man level up, you level up because he's supposed to level you up with him. Oh, and and vice versa. Yeah, for sure. When he fall oh. down and you fucking with him, oh yeah, you're going down too. You know what I'm it's, saying? It's, you feel me? But but like so it. I, yeah, it, but yeah, it 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 go both ways, bro. I, ultimately, the whole the whole general gist of what I'm saying, bro. It I, every male and females got to work together, bro. We got to work together. That's a fact, that's a fact bro. That's that's undeniably. I agree with that. Yeah. And I appreciate it, my dude, it's man. Good, bro. Good uh, talking to you, bro. We got to do this more often, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna chop it up with you. You feel me? Uh, because I know we was actually supposed to do some other shit too. So yes, I'm going to chop it up with you. Yes, sir. But yeah, I'm about to get up.